was living a good life with nieces and nephews <laughs> that loved me. Little did I know, I was the punishment. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome back to another Monday episode hosted by your boy, Sean. Yeah? With me today, I got my co-hosts, John and Josh. Double J, say hello. Hi. Double genetration. Wow. No. Okay, let's A going. real stretch. <laughs> a real stretch. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a moly. <laughs> it's a cold day for John today. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, you know. He's you know, off. it's just the beginning. Only, only up from here. Yeah, you know he's got to warm up a bit. Maybe just like two o. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, whoa. We're recording this at the beginning of the Leafs game. And their Josh first playoff is game. Pressed. I'm. Josh I'm is sad. a little bit stressed. Uh, John has. The Suns game coming up later and tonight. And I too I will be stressed. Yeah. And then my team, like you heard last episode, what sucks team? ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, number but, one pick, uh, right? Num- num- number two pick. Number two. Never mind. Just kidding. Close. Yeah, because we decided to win the last fucking game for no reason. <laughs> Go Texans. <laughs> Love that. Now we probably won't get Bryce Young. By the time this comes out, we'll know. That, I like uh, how our, our intro has been the same the last two episodes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. It's <laughs> stressful for sports fans right now. Anyways, we're moving past it. Are we ready for the menu for today, boys? Let's do it. Yes. I had a little time, so, you know, I made a, you know, Ooh. try to make my titles like John and Josh. Try and be a good Ooh, podcast okay. host over here. You are amazing. Coming up. Oh, thank you so much. Coming up <laughs> first from r slash mildly infuriating cross posted from User Sharks Can Walk 11. Nice. A bride wants a refund on her wedding photography. Oh, this kind of ties into our episode that we did, Sean. We commented on wedding photography. Oh, yeah, that's true. uh, Yeah, they were. Someone was was like, yeah, wedding photography takes a lot of work, which I agree with. It does. Uh, We weren't saying that. We're just saying like... The wedding tax in general is. The wedding tax, they definitely charge more than they could charge doing the same thing at like a, a, another party. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway. All right. Then we have a sort of heavy one, but oh, it has a twist. So maybe not is from r slash legal advice cross posted from shutter bug owl woman's boyfriend might be drugging her or it might be something else. Oh, what no. the fuck? I hope it's what? something else. Uh, I, I will say, you know, just a trigger warning for that story. It sounds awful. And then the first couple of comments in the comments sort of clears it up. Okay. So it's going to feel real bad while I'm reading. All right. Uh, but the first couple of comments, which I will read after, uh, will make everyone feel a little bit better and maybe a little... Yeah, I don't, yeah, maybe a little bit. Less better. awful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, less awful is what I'm trying to say. It'll take my mind off the game right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Then coming from, for the first time, new subreddit for me. This is coming from r slash witches versus patriarchy. Oh, that's a verse. From Disney Can't Stop Me. Shout out to an active Discord user, I believe. Yes. They posted or cross posted. Man. That is so confident in a tennis match versus multi-time world champion Serena Williams. Okay. I think I've heard this story potentially. Whoop your ass 10 out of 10 (laughs) times. Yeah. (laughs) She's the GOAT for a reason. She is. The GOAT. Then we have from r slash petty revenge cross posted from fluff and stuff 42. Mom apologizes for her own body. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you should ever apologize for your body. Yep. Facts. Especially a mom. True. Actually, yeah. Even and more true. Even <laughs> more true. true. As a mom. Uh, and for the fifth story, kind of uncharted territory for your boy, but the other five. four are... Yeah, five. Uh, only one of my other four are kind of long, so I thought, you know, why not throw in a fifth one? Nice. Uh, this is from r slash unexpected from user snakes can run. 
Uh, that is my fear. Oh my god, I would fucking die. We got snakes, snakes can fly, sharks can uh, sharks can walk, walk, and snakes, snakes can, can also snakes run. Can run. Snakes okay. can run. Yeah, I do not like turtles that can fly. Me. We're building a zoo out here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would this not be visiting like, uh, that. <laughs> what do you call it? I feel like the kid from Toy Story just mashing two toys together. True. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I but like this it. is a first for me is what uh, it's reacting to a TikTok. Oh, uh, we're reacting to a TikTok? Yeah, we're going to react to a TikTok hey, that was posted okay. on r slash unexpected. I tried this one, Sean, and you got very upset. I did get very upset. So this one's much more lighthearted. <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, this is where, you know, if you listen to last Friday's episode, I talked about getting my revenge on Josh and doing an Am I the Asshole because this TikTok is sort of an am I the asshole? How dare you? I you are the asshole, Sean. But it must be done. <laughs> I don't know, Josh. Kind of justify. That's you fair. stole I a did, petty I, revenge from us. It was labeled am I the asshole on our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do better. I'm Do sorry. better. All right. Are we <laughs> ready okay, for son. our first story of the day? Yeah, let's do it. A little lighthearted one. This one is... Again, bride wants a refund on wedding photography from r slash mildly infuriating posted from Sharks Can Walk 11. Okay. How do they breed? Here we go. <laughs> the gills. <laughs> the real question. <laughs> Have you not watched Street Sharks, the 90s cartoon? I don't know. This is some Sharknado no. shit waiting to happen. <laughs> Wait, did y'all not watch Street Sharks? Mm. No, I've never heard of it. It was so. like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but sharks. It but was sharks. Rad. Oh. It was rad I as could fuck. See why okay. that didn't do as well. <laughs> okay. Well, just watch it and then come back to me, actually. Okay. I'll, I'll, that's that'll be my homework this job. week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is like a little text thread uh, between the bride and the wedding photographer. Actually, you know what? Why don't we... Why don't we oh, have role. John... Yeah, do a little role, oh, play. role play. John Hell and Josh. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, okay. All right, I posted it in the chat. Um, right. Who wants to be the bride and who wants to be the wedding photographer? <sighs> Let me. Be, I got dibs on the wedding photographer. Yeah, I got that bride in me. Yeah, <laughs> the bridezilla's <laughs> alive inside of Josh. It's just on the. It's always on the just surface level. It's right below. <laughs> <laughs> You're the Incredible Hulk. Always ready to go. That's the trick. I'm always <laughs> angry. <laughs> wow, what a username! Wealthy Big Penis Twenty Two. Oh, is that who posted it? (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking sick. Good catch, John. Uh, So which one's which? Uh, The wife, the bride is... uh, On the left side. On top, on top. Yeah, on the left side. The white text. All right. Are you ready to go, John? I'm ready. Hi, Romeo. How are you? Question mark. I don't know if you still remember me. You did photo shoot for me at my wedding in... Durban in 2019. Hey, I'm okay. Thank you. Trust you're well. Yes, I remember. How may I be of service? <laughs> well, I'm now divorced and those pictures and my uh, pictures I and my ex-husband don't need them anymore. You did wonderful job on them, but they went to waste as we are now divorced. I will need a <laughs> refund for the amount we paid you because we don't need them anymore. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> this has to be a joke, right? <laughs> no, dear. I'm very serious. I'm very sorry to hear that you and your husband divorced, but as I'm sure, you can figure out that that's not going to happen. <laughs> so photography is non-refundable service once I've already <laughs> delivered to you the service and the pictures. I can't refund you because I can't untake the pictures. Take care now. Bro... That is absolutely wild. Is she going around to everyone and being like, hey, listen, I know you catered my wedding, but uh, (laughs) that food went to waste because we're divorced now. Oh, my God. Holy. Oh, my God. I was thinking like, you know, maybe like they fucked the photos up or something like that. But it's been four years and... (laughs) You just <laughs> fucked up your marriage. And <laughs> Actually, the source of our divorce was how much we hated our wedding <laughs> <The> pictures. <laughs> we never looked as happy as we did in those photos, oh, and that's your yeah. fault. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> you did too no. well photo, uh, <laughs> photographing us. Yeah, holy oh shit. Oh my, my goodness God. gracious. Damn, that rich is... big penis 22. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's why his name is Romeo. <laughs> Funny enough, hey, my wife's ex-boyfriend and I'm the reason why they broke up. Oh, <laughs> damn. So there was a Romeo and Juliet and then John came along. <laughs> oh shit. We need you on Sangria with Sienna ASAP. <laughs> oh man. Um, no, I want Romeo on that show. <laughs> True. He fucking hates me. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> I'm better anyways. I agree. I don't yeah. know Romeo, but I could guarantee you he's not as good as you, John. Thank no. you. Unless he's Crossed a photographer. Crossed a few times in basketball, too. So, yeah, if you're listening. <laughs> oh, God damn. God damn. Oh, oh, for real, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you won, John. I don't know why you're so angry. <laughs> yeah, I win every fucking time. You know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I think of you every single time, Romeo. <laughs> You better goddamn believe <laughs> Every time I eat one of those goddamn veggies. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy. Oh, um, I'm sweating. God damn, that shit was funny. Yeah, that is crazy. All right. Are we ready to move to these disturbing while reading, but then immediately feel less bad afterwards? All right. This is the heavy one with the comment you said? This is the heavy one. This is oh, okay. woman's boyfriend might be drugging her. Oh. Or it might be something else. Yeah, cross that's a posted. Tough one. On. <laughs> yep. Cross posted from Shutter Bug Owl from r slash legal advice. Uh, trigger Rebecca warning. Rebecca needs to be. For, <laughs> for real. Every time it's legal advice, we need to have like a, a Rebecca call in. Yeah. Would that be cool? A Rebecca button. <laughs> Rebecca oh, call. <laughs> you definitely Rebecca? have to. You definitely have to pay. Oh, yeah. Lawyer Fine. services. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, trigger warning in general for, I don't know, like the official terms for trigger warnings. Maybe we should have like a legend. Yeah. But yeah, trigger warning for possible R word. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, and if it's drugging, that's got to be some sort of yeah, assault. Yeah, kind of right? just in general, like. Oh, thank you, Making oh, this light, bringing Hi, light baby. to this dark story. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, so just com- comfort your father. <laughs> possible, possible sexual abuse. Oh. Uh, yeah, not great. But again, the comments right after may make you feel a little bit better. Maybe. Okay. Because uh, again, kind of sad while reading. So this is in North Texas. Hey, so I must apologize if this post is jumbled up a bit. I started typing it up in Word yesterday before my date and forgot about it before finishing it today. Ringo's just chilling in the screen. I know. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just watching her. I think my boyfriend has been secretly drugging me for a while now and might be gaslighting me. Oh. Don't like that. No. I know this is going to be hard to explain, but I have been having gaps in memory that I have been explaining away as being tired or overworked or whatever else. I was going to ask my boyfriend about it since he is a doctor, but then I started to notice that this seems to happen whenever I go on dates with him. Mm, I I know it must be crazy, but I have woken up with dried semen on my breast several times with no memory of the night before. Uh, Is she getting roofied by her own boyfriend? I know it's him, and I don't want to get into specifics, but he likes that kind of thing way more than other guys would. What do you mean? What other thing? <laughs> like unconscious? Uh, I, I I think maybe semen on boobs type of thing. Oh, that's how I read it. Oh, okay. At least I hope it's that and not the unconscious, because that is just fucked up, bad, and fucked. That up, is yeah. assault. In every sure. sense of the word. For sure. Ooh. The first time it happened was when we were drinking and I wrote it off as too much to drink. We get drunk and have sex all the time, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But then there were a few times when I know we were not drinking. I decided to break up with him over it, only to suddenly find myself on a date with him a few days later. Damn. I had not yet had the conversation to break up with him, but planned on it. The next time I had talked to him, I remember being at the restaurant 
but nothing before that. My car and his car were both in the parking lot too, so I was very confused. I decided Mm. to play along when he asked me to come back to his place. After three days at his place, I remembered everything, so I started to trust him again. Knowing he was an ENT, I know it won't be his forte, but he is a doctor. I was going to ask him about my issues when he randomly pointed to these red bumps on my thigh and said I should be treating those sores. I had completely forgotten that they were there. These little red bumps that look like needle injections that got infected. Oh. I got so freaked out that he mentioned them that I decided to leave. The next day, he came over to, quote, check on me, end quote, and I remember waking up in bed with more dried semen on my chest. Jesus. Then today, he met me for lunch, saying that we had agreed to meet. I never agreed to meet with him and never would want to. He does this all the time, saying we agreed to do something, and I have no memory of it. I am sick and tired of this, and he needs to be punished. This has started to affect my work life as well, as I start to get paranoid when I see my boss walk into a room after making eye contact with me. I get paranoid that they are about to fire me. My friends also state that I have been acting strangely and out of character, and that I have even begin, begun to lose sleep and sleepwalk when I do. Is there a way to have blood work done to see what kind of drug he is using on me? I do not want the police to blow me off and push me away as some crazy lady, so I want to be damn sure when I go to the police. And that's the end of the story before we get to the possible thing that might make us feel better. Maybe not. Oh, man. This is Isn't there like... Okay, so the boyfriend seems like they have capabilities of pulling that shit because they're a doctor, even though they don't sound like an anesthesiologist or whatever those doctors that yeah. inject shit most of the time. But chances are they probably have some common knowledge with about those things. And like, I would imagine, yeah, the type of drugs that would work on said people, like in those situations. And God damn, I, that's, that's just hard because there's some drugs. If I'm not mistaken, uh, is it Rohypnol? Like Rufi or Rufi's is like untraceable. Like afterwards, if I'm not mistaken, I could uh, be wrong. I don't know anything I about him. I would imagine you could still probably. I, I and this is where like the advice part. I yeah. don't know. I'm not a scientist or a doctor. Right. I have no idea if there's a way to do a blood test to find out what he's been putting in you, if he's putting something in you. Uh, but besides that fact, uh, he should not be taking advantage of you. Well, in that state. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is you know, assault and you could easily charge him with that. Yeah. And my, uh, the other suggestion that I was going to bring instead of like the drugs in play, like if I hate to say that if there was a situation, if you had waking up again and you happen to have dried semen on you, if they can get a sample of that and then trace it like a DNA sample for the, you know, for, for the, the authorities and they can, you can always, you can say like, Hey, I did not give consent during this, the sexual act, like what can I do to, yeah. to do that? Also but working I mean, in like the medical field, uh, like rape kits exist. So there's, they do, they do. Yeah. I don't know yes. how accurate they are. Cause I, I feel like I've read stories on people like not passing a rape kit and they're like, well, I was raped. I don't know what to tell you. So I don't know how accurate they always are, but kits do exist to test for that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah. you could go to a clinic and do that. Oh, all right. Read the comments so I can yeah, maybe feel I, better. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> okay. So again, this is a maybe feel a little less worse uh, at the possibility <laughs> the of bars on the it not being drugs. All right. So this is from uh, one of the top comments. It says, you mentioned red bumps on your thigh, insomnia, memory loss, paranoia, and anxiety. Please pull the sheets off of your mattress Check in the little creases for brown specks or encrusted brown flakes. These symptoms sound eerily familiar to what happened to a friend of mine. We thought he was going crazy, but turns out he was having a severe reaction to long-term bed bug bites. Oh. You mentioned that you remember everything that happened at his place, but as soon as you got home, it started again. Bed bugs can cause psychological symptoms if the reaction is severe enough. 
Really? I would check the lip of your mattress first to see if you have bed bugs. And then the OP commented and said, wait, seriously? Does it look like dried chocolate or poop chunks along the seam of the mattress? Oh. And then the person commented back, yes, is that what you see? And OP put, yes, all along the left side of my mattress by the wall. Holy shit. Holy shit. So something I had no clue was a thing. No, same. Okay. And I feel better that it might be that, but also weird to still have sex when you're in that state, but maybe he didn't know you were in that state. I was just about to say. I would hope. He might not be able to know, but, uh, but uh, I mean, have a conversation with him about it yeah, and be like, yo, I'm not in the right headspace when I'm doing this. I'm thinking this is what it is. Uh, Well, and, and honestly do that after maybe don't see him for a little bit. Do like clean up the bed bugs. You, uh, yeah, you got to get a new mattress completely. At this point, yeah. yeah. I, I want to say I, I had bed bugs when I was at some point. I have. Um, yeah, and you just got to fucking trash that bed. There's no. <laughs> yeah. First year university, uh, my off campus residence had bed bugs and it was not fun. Uh, oh, damn. Terrifying to know this is what could have been the result of that. Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't know that was a cause or that could cause that. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that was even a possibility. That's wild. Um, so yeah, test out that theory first. Like get yes. a new mattress and clean your house. Make sure they're all gone. Uh, get a new mattress. Test that theory out. If your memory starts coming back and you start coming more yourself, then have a conversation with him with the boyfriend, yeah. and be like, "Hey, this is what's been happening to me. I, I, I know it. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm having a hard time blaming him now because Same. maybe he didn't know, and maybe you act normal in that state." Uh, I have no way of knowing. Yeah, I have no idea what the symptoms are because, again, we had never heard of this being a thing. No, exactly. Uh, but so. all of the comments below that are all like pest control people. Like, actually, yeah, that's a, a real thing. Like another comment. Holy shit! Hey, I'm a professional. Uh, I'm a professional pest control guy, and tons of experience with bed bugs. My first bit of advice is for you to get professional treatment of the bed bugs. It is not cheap but they are incredibly difficult to get rid of because they can survive a year or more without feeding and they cause a wide array of uh, psychological issues due to the prolonged, extremely, uh, for having poor sleep for so long. Uh, I sincerely hope that this is the cause of your issues, but I would advise you to talk to your doctor about your symptoms and request blood work. Huh. And then there's like dozens of more pest control people being like, yeah, that's a, thing not widely known but a thing oh my god, god dude <laughs> who would have known <laughs> who would have known right right that's, that was that's crazy. educational that was yeah. from deeply uh, disturbing to facts. hopefully just uh, uh just uh well i mean not just because this is also disturbing just in a diff- completely different a completely way, different way <laughs> yeah. uh bugs terrify the shit out of me that way uh that they can cause this much damage especially yeah, bad you bugs. don't even know it like it's also it's suck. also good that someone was able or was someone was able to see that information and like you know being able to put that piece together because had she gone to the authorities his reputation could as a doctor could possibly be ruined too yeah he could have lost everything just based on like the situation and no one would probably would have known so I'm hoping the bug bed bugs are the <laughs> yeah same yes. thing I, uh, yeah that's why I, I feel better but also like. We don't know if yes. the bed bugs are right. for sure the. We're just hoping that we that's need an the update. case. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is from five years ago, so I don't oh, think we'll get one. Damn! Oh, click on the user. <laughs> uh, I did for more comments about like oh. if they, you know, had an update about the bed bugs, uh, but enough. no updates. Damn, oh, that's too bad. But, but I imagine history. you know if it was just you know if it was the bed bugs, then you know no need to write back. Maybe is fingers crossed. I want to know, Sean. Okay, yeah, it's <laughs> a bed full of lies. <laughs> oh, all right. Before we title. move on to our next story, I think it's time definitely. we hit. Wait, what? <laughs> now I was like, <laughs> it's a bed full of lies. Wait, you lies or, or lice? Lice, lice, lice is what like he said. Oh, yeah. okay. Bug. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Just right. move past it, Sean. Yeah, yeah. could have been a bad break. Bad break. Bad break. Bad break. Yeah. Now it's just, I want you to think about what. <laughs> I want you to think about this. <laughs> All right, moving on. 
What's up, Wikimaniacs? You know how your boys love to talk about food, even if it involves Josh talking about taco sauce. Hey, come on, man. Not, not the time. All right, boys. Be nice. But let me talk to you about HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. Speaking of tacos and sauce, spend less time in the kitchen with the quick and easy meals like HelloFresh's Fast and Fresh Pineapple Chicken Tacos or Falafel Power Bowls, ready in 15 minutes or less. And while I'm a professional at eating meals, I am a rookie when it comes to cooking. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps, so even I can follow it. I have a few set favorites, but by far my favorite is the miso honey glazed salmon. Ooh, delicious. The box was shipped to my door, got it out of the box, read the instructions, got to cooking, and a few minutes later, I'm rubbing my belly and doing my happy dance from all the deliciousness. Ooh, so Wikimaniacs, make sure to go to hellofresh.com slash reddit on wiki 50 and use the code reddit on wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free once again go to hellofresh.com slash reddit on wiki 50 and use code reddit on wiki 50 for 50 percent off plus your first box ships free hello fresh america's number one meal kit and we're back all right we got three more stories two more stories and a tiktok Actually, ooh. ooh, let's go. I love TikTok. So, this is a man so confident. You know what? I'm switching it up. Uh, I'm going story four before story three. We're switching the okay. mood. You All can't right, change it up on me like this. <laughs> I'm going. Mom <laughs> apologizes for her own body from r slash okay. petty revenge from user fluff and stuff forty two. Okay. I have two stories today that have me feeling low, yet victorious. Okay. I birthed two large babies. My first one in 2018, almost eight pounds, and my second one in 2020, almost nine pounds. That's a At tank. Yeah. <laughs> you birthed some O linemen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Add in COVID, and my youngest who was adopted and a foster kiddo for a while. Needless to say, I've had some trouble losing weight and reducing my mom pooch. Yeah, but, I mean, understandable. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, understandable. We, I, I mean, speaking for me, you know, just COVID alone, it's been hard to lose the COVID weight. And it's been yeah. three years since then. I just started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I've been working on it pretty hard the past few months and I'm now noticing that a lot of my clothes are getting looser. I decided to reward myself by getting some new clothes that fit better. At one store, I was simply looking at some clothes when I overheard a guy say, quote, Man, why do people look at skimpy clothes when they clearly don't have the body for it? And Fuck that guy. Oh, I was Fuck cringing as soon as you said some guy said something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck that guy. I subtly sneak a peek and I see him giving angry looks at me. Parentheses. I'm the only other person in this section other Jesus. than what I am assuming is his wife. Now, not to body shame anyone, but this guy had no room to be talking. <laughs> Sometimes warranted. <laughs> yeah. He was over here looking like Winnie the Pooh with several inches of his massive stomach on display. That's me. Hey, you wearing that crop top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't throw glass. Or what is it? Don't throw stones don't throw from a, a glass house. A, yeah. <laughs> Shit, that will crack if I stand on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I sweetly turned to him and said, quote, I popped out two big babies. What's your stomach's excuse? End quote. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, when he needs to poop. That's what <laughs> His wife just about died laughing as this guy started to turn purple. But <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That wife passed the test. Yes. <laughs> Later at another store, uh, I was trying on some dresses. 
It's one of those stores where they have a mirror in the dressing room, but they have the better multi-sided mirror with better light outside of the dressing room. So mm. I popped out to check, uh, check myself in the better mirror when a woman came over excitedly and said, quote, ooh, congrats on the baby, end quote. Don't like okay. that. I mean, I was, yeah. yeah. I was obviously not thrilled because it is a bit of a sore spot with me that I still do look a little bit pregnant after all this time, but I just told her instead, quote, thanks. She was born in 2020, end quote. <laughs> The woman's face fell as she what scampered stores? off. What stores are you going to? Stop going to them. <laughs> Holy shit. The people that go there are terrible. Holy fuck. They all suck. Oh uh, my moral of the story, God. keep your mouth shut about other people's bodies. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, especially people. Well, I mean, just in, in general, but then people you don't know are just strangers. Just don't comment on people. Yeah. Even I, the ones you know. <laughs> Even the ones you know, but especially people you don't know, because yep. yeah. uh, wild, wild to to assume that it's like it's like that saying where it's like you never ask a woman if she's pregnant. That yeah. is like, like just don't, just don't, because uh, the 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 uh, the chance that you're right is not worth the chance that you're fucking insulting someone. Yes, uh, and, and and commenting on their body on a, inappropriately. So just shut the fuck up. Let people tell you. If they want to talk about their body. Yep. And to the OP, you know, you pushed a total of 17 pounds of humanity Jeez. out of you. You should be proud of that. And, you know, yeah. I always tell people, like, you're on your own timeline. If you lose a half a pound in a year or a half a pound in, like, two years, whatever, as long as you feel good about you, that's all that matters. Fuck what everyone else say. They don't pay your bills. They don't buy your clothes. Do you? Hope you're the best. Hope your kids are healthy. Hope you're healthy. And hope you're on your way to the body that you want for you and not what society expects from you. Well, here's the thing. Like losing weight, if you if that's your if that's your goal, losing weight mm -hmm. takes time, tons of money, energy, yep. and you need the schedule to be able to do it. It's so many she factors. Got three kids. Yeah. Three kids. And, and like that's probably expensive. So do you have the money to buy the you know, healthiest options. Not always because yep. the cheap shit's always half off. You know what McDonald's. I mean? McDonald's, like fucking nuggets. You can buy those for cheaper than bags of vegetables sometimes. Yep. It's crazy. For and, sure. um, and so like, like it, it's whatever your timeline is, that's fine. If you never want to lose weight, also fine. As long as you're happy, like John said, yep. uh, and, but there's just so many other factors that tie into losing weight and eating healthy so uh which is not the case here like i'm sure you're you're healthy and whatnot but yeah. that was just a, that's just a case i've been dealing with uh uh the past few weeks of trying to eat healthier uh, i'm like this hey, i've been going to the gym and i still can't <laughs> lose weight bro like, it's hard yeah it's once hard. you pass like a certain age it's hard man yeah i used to lose I like weight shit. so easily <laughs> yeah. i luckily i still have a good metabolism but uh I'm still never. below 30s, my brother. So that's probably what's helping. <laughs> I've yeah. never had a good metabolism. <laughs> I have a scale that I have a scale that tells you like your estimated metabolism age, I guess it is. So it tells you like how old you are with metabolism. Oh, nice. Uh, and for the longest time, mine was like 24. And then I hit my birthday last week, and it's like 25. And I'm like, God damn probably it, we're 50, going 57 down. 57. Yeah, me. I was gonna say, motherfucker, I've probably been 43 for the last decade, bro. <laughs> Same. Same. <laughs> Uh, uh, I will say, Josh, whenever you're talking about like all the effort it takes just to like lose weight, it reminded me of uh, the guy who plays Mac on It's Always Sunny when he got absolutely oh. fucking shredded for one season. And he was oh, like, yeah. guys, literally anybody can do it, you know, as long as you have all the time to work out three times a day, the money for the personal trainer that works you out three times a day, a job that uh, gives you enough time in the day to do those three workouts, blah, blah, That's blah. Was he was like listing all these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And he was like, yeah, just making a joke like that. 
That's but why also, everyone in college is fit because like you walking, have the time. Yeah, just hauling ass <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. And and everyone has a different body type, guys. Like yes. just yes. because yeah, like every, genetics like, plays a huge part. Exactly. Like someone could be like a little on a thicker side, but might be like super strong, or like someone in the skinnier side, but like you know, it doesn't. It's everyone. Everyone got a different body, and different bodies like function different ways. So like. Don't don't fall into the stereotype that you have to look a certain part because yeah. everyone's different. Everyone's unique. Live your life, uh, choose your goals, and then Bam. work towards them. Yeah, it, it reminds you. me. It reminds me of like a, I recently like an Ariana Grande or Grandy. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> definitely not that. <laughs> no, I think she said area like she goes by both. Oh, okay. But I don't know if she was trolling the interviewer, to be she honest. She also kind of does blackface. <laughs> also Korean face. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. So, Anyways. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to listen to her. <laughs> but, you know, Thank she had, you next. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but she kind of, like, made a point because a bunch of her fans, you know, you know, were being well-intentioned, I guess, maybe. But I guess she had lost a certain amount of weight and people were saying she looks sick and, oh, I hope she's okay or I hope her husband isn't, you know, abusing her or something because she's looks a little skinnier than normal and she put out a video saying essentially like hey like i'm good like yeah i'm the happiest i've ever been uh you know th- y'all are pointing to a time uh that you think that i was healthy but i was actually at possibly yep. my worst emotionally uh physically like health wise going to the doctor yeah was at my worst and now i'm feeling great i'm very happy um and just like saying in general, like we as a society should probably be a little bit less comfortable commenting on other people's bodies all the time. Um, and I was like, wow, that is true. Cause it reminded me again, uh, always getting reminded of other stuff, but like of whenever Chadwick Boseman was lost, uh, a, a right. lot of his muscle mass from like, yeah. from winter soldier to the black Panther, everybody was like, damn, he looks crazy like he looks so skinny blah 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 yeah like you don't know he looks sick and like motherfucker was stage four cancer Mm -hmm. filming movies non-stop banger yeah yes you never know what somebody's going through with their body and it's honestly unless you're a fucking doctor never your place to comment on anybody else's body i think ever really like whatever you think is important to be said is probably not that important Exactly. Yeah. Cause this, the exact same thing happened to Adele. Like she lost a bunch of weight and a bunch of people were calling her out being like, Oh, like you're fat phobic or whatever, which is not the case. She just had a goal for what she wanted to do. She wanted to she lose wanted some to weight and she herself. did that. Yeah. So, like, yeah. so the, 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 the exact, the exact same opposite way on people who lose weight, just, just mind, mind your business. It's fine. If people want to do what they want to do with their body, unless it's harming themselves. Um, but yeah, just don't, don't comment negatively on other people's bodies. I think that's the the end all be all sentence there. <laughs> yeah. TLDR, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sean. That's or John, that's fuck. I can't erase this. I got the game almost on in the side here. <laughs> it's almost been two years. Josh, I'm sorry. come on. This guy I'm thinks sorry. Frank Ocean is J. Cole. Man. I know. <laughs> really? All right, moving on. I don't know what either of them look like, to be fair. <laughs> What are you trying okay. to say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they look like is what I was trying to say. All right. Next story from r slash witches versus patriarchy cross posted from user Disney can't stop me. Man is confident and match versus multi-time champion Serena Williams. L. L. Yeah. You can lose that one. I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a tweet quote retweet situation all right so here is the original tweet one in eight men parentheses 12 percent uh say that they could win a point in a game of tennis against 23 time grand slam winner serena williams (laughs) one in eight yeah i think they can score a point how many men play tennis do you think it's definitely not one in eight so there's a lot of guys who have just never played tennis. Never played like, tennis. Yeah, I could do it. Like that is a bold statement. <laughs> They're just like yeah, one hard. point. Like this is this is uh, the same question. Sort of like uh, somebody asked NFL players, like how many yards do you think like an average person could get, like oh, as a running back? Minus. 20. And all of them were like <laughs> negative. 
Negative. Absolutely <laughs> negative. They will get finding crushed. No gaps. <laughs> yeah. A gap, B gap. I do not know. I'll be no. fucking screaming the whole time. Like I'm a fairly active person, but I would get my ass handed to me oh, by like the minor league teams. They're professionals <laughs> for reason. This is the same energy of like fucking LA fitness baller saying I could hoop and like, yeah, be any WNBA, WNBA players. players. <laughs> I'm going Boy, to try you're out. getting fucking destroyed. Stick to NBA 2K. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah. So that was the original quote. And here is the quote retweet. Confident in my ability to properly play tennis, I take the court. I smile at my opponent. Serena does not return the gesture. She'd be prettier if she did, I think. Uh, she serves. This guy doesn't fuck. <laughs> she serves. The ball, pla- uh, the ball passes cleanly through my skull, killing me instantly. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a turn there. I okay, thought it was, it was a, a neck beard. It was I a thought troll. it was a neck beard. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then it got me at the end. Oh, yeah. You better believe I would just absolutely, like, I would die if I took a, a shot from her uh, just instantly. I'd be like, oh, well. It's been a good life. <laughs> yeah. I'll drop a deuce in my pants receiving that serve, like pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I would be so scared to hit that. Like For the people that wrist. don't know tennis scores, a deuce is, is what they call uh, one of the points. Yeah. I yeah, knew that's what that. I was trying to get at. But was... also a poop joke. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a good joke when you got to explain it. I um, love <laughs> I love that joke. You're welcome. You're uh, real ace, Sean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, okay, so check this out. Josh said love, and that's also another tennis term. Stop, stop mansplaining to our audience. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it rolled right past me the first time, so I was like, there's probably another idiot like me. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Guys, uh, rolled. When you play tennis, sometimes the ball rolls. I'm going to shank you, Sean, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll, I'll let that one go. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god. How many more tennis puns we got here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Last story, the TikTok. I guess I should try out the soundboard to see if you can even hear stuff. Oh yeah. Before I commit it to this. I hear it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my Fuck. god. <laughs> Jesus Bob, Christ, you that was rude. Loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> yes. I, I can't hear anything else anymore, yeah. but yeah, okay. I did hear that. Cool. Sorry. So fucking sorry. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to our last story of the day. The Am I the Asshole TikTok that wasn't from the Am I the Asshole subreddit, but instead posted in r slash unexpected from user snakes midscore can midscore run. Jesus. (sighs) An uncle finds out what his nieces and nephews really think. Okay. Are you going to share your screen, Sean, so we can see? Uh, Or or do we need to? Is it one of those, like, Minecraft in the background? Oh, no. no. I mean, he's talking. It might help with the the ambiance. Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Ambiance? All right, and here is the TikTok. (laughs) Probably going to be hella delayed. Am I the a for changing what I feed my sister's kids just to spite her? I like to start off by saying I love my nieces and nephews with every fiber of my being. Literally, it was a joy for my sister to be like, hey, can you pick up the kids? Yes, yes, I will. And we would do amazing things like go to hikes, go to different adventure places, go to different museums and eat a lot of my favorite foods. I love kicking. I'm a raw vegan. I love eating all different types of things from nature and eating straight from the earth. It was a lifestyle that I chose for myself and that I enjoy. Well, over the last couple of months, my sister's been telling me to get her kids more and more and more, and I was enjoyed by it. But over time, I could see their attitudes lessen and lessen and lessen, and I'm like, what's going on? The other day, I overheard my sister saying saying to her children, if you don't start acting right, I'm going to send you back to Uncle Philip's house. That's my house. Wait a minute. <gasps> Is my house a punishment? <laughs> Apparently, this whole time, they hated all the vegan food that I was giving them, all the raw veggies that I was feeding them. They hated it. They felt like the hikes that we would go on and the different places that we would see was just bugs and stuff taking them all the time. I thought this was bonding. I thought this was love. I didn't know they didn't like that. I believe that every human being should have a voice and should be able to say that. And I asked them multiple times, are y'all having fun? And they would would say in unison yes apparently 
their mom put them on punishment and told them to say yes to everything that I wanted to do. I thought I was living a good life with nieces and nephews that love me. Little did I know I was the punishment. Oh, oh, when I heard this and my sister said, hey, can you pick up the kids? Oh, yes, I can pick up the kids. Let me get these little babies. And you know what we did? We went to McDonald's. You know what we did after that? We went to Six Flags. You know what we did after that? We went to a whole steak and shake restaurant, ate all the foods that they wanted to get. Then I went to Walmart, got ice cream for everybody. What you mean this is a punishment? And then the next time, guess what? I did it again. Guess what, man? They happy, smiling, loving life. And guess what? <laughs> Um, they, they ended up, uh, destroying her living room and kitchen <laughs> because, uh, they wanted to be on punishment. And one of them, I think, got into a fight at school because, uh, they, they wanted to be on punishment during the week so they could go to, uh, Uncle Phillip's house. So, so I didn't, I didn't see that coming, but... You shouldn't use me as a punishment. I'm, I ain't nothing but love. And I thought that was the right thing to do. Little did I know uh, they was going to do that. So. Oh, my God. That guy is my favorite person. <laughs> He's awesome. That's a cool uh, shout uncle. Out, I got to give a, a shout out to his TikTok account. That is uh, The Jonathan Moss. Uh, great storytelling. Holy. Love that. Amazing. I oh. was hooked. That was a great storytelling. Oh, the whole time. Oh, yeah. So this is man. something that is is in r slash unexpected, but it could be in r slash am I the asshole, and it could be r slash petty revenge. So I thought it was too good True. not to share. It's a trifecta, True. if you True. will. Um, uh, so I, 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 I guess <laughs> is he the asshole, guys? No, no. Uh, he was being yeah. manip- he was being tricked into thinking like, oh my. Nieces and nephews love me to think, and then all of a sudden that he's the punishment house. Good on him for doing that petty <laughs> shit. <laughs> Got your yeah. kitchen fucked up, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it, how I, how is it his fault to see that that was going to be the outcome? Um, and like he could play dumb if he wanted to and been like, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be a punishment, and and how are like couldn't blame, can't blame him really for using him as a punishment which is kind of disrespectful if you really think about it yeah very you're like your lifestyle is so shitty my kids are gonna hate it like yeah. that's that's fucked up he's uh, a wholesome person leave him yeah alone. what a nice <laughs> yeah, nice he's person fucking nice uh and then to be like yo I, i'm gonna treat these kids like uh, like if that they didn't enjoy that that that's absolutely fine we could do whatever they wanted to do uh and then to switch up and do that that's that's he's a great uncle is what it sounds like yes <laughs> yeah yeah, it's, I I love that he fucking not only went to McDonald's, went to Steak and Shake right afterwards. Or mm-hmm. yeah. Just nonstop <laughs> fast food, uh, ice cream on top of that. Uh, yeah, I guess he had months of raw vegan food that he was giving them, so he had to make it up all in a couple of goes, all in one day. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I agree with you guys completely. Uh, you manipulated your brother into yep. thinking that his nieces and nephews loved hanging out with him and in one altercation that he overheard you were never going to tell him in one time that he overheard he found out just slipped yeah yeah in indeed that you were the punishment house so yeah Yeah. i would have done something similar too that's that's fucked up manipulating uh your sibling into thinking that you know they're in a loving relationship when that's not the case yeah pretty fucked up yeah, so happy for you, Jonathan. I'm. Uh, I hope you know you're not the asshole. No, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm sure cool he knows. Shit. Yeah, you're hella yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> the I voice go to your change yeah. was perfection. The, the way he was... stole, the way he <laughs> told this entire story was fucking perfect. A mastercraft. It was. Yeah. But uh, I guess that's all five of my stories today. Uh, we're gonna hit a quick. Do we do an ad break before this day in history? Yeah. We yeah, do. typically okay. do, yeah. We're going to do a quick ad break right before we get into a wonderfully written section of uh, This Day in History by the amazing Underbaki. Mm-hmm. 
Hey there, Wikimaniacs. Welcome back to our weekly series called This Day in History. For those tuning into Reddit on Wiki for the first time, thank you for streaming our show and making it through all of the puns. This segment is a little history lesson that we like to throw in each week. To take a break from the online assholes that we roast, every Monday we'll take you on a trip down memory lane and hopefully you can walk away feeling like you've learned something. Today, we've stumbled upon quite the discovery involving an English mountaineer, a solved mystery, and Mount Everest. Ooh. Before we descend to something tragic, let's introduce today's main character, that being George Mallory. George Herbert Lay Mallory was born a Gemini on June 18th, 1886 in Mauberley, a village in classic Cheshire, United Kingdom. George's family comprised of his father, Herbert, his mother, Annie, and his two sisters, who are not named. He also had a brother, Trafford, who would eventually become a senior commander in the Royal Air Force. George would go on to live a seemingly decent life. He attended a boarding school in 1896, won a mathematics scholarship to Winchester College, and went on to publish his own writings. According to his Wikipedia page, he rubbed shoulders with the famous Bloomsbury Group, and if you don't know, like me, that is a group of English writers, philosophers, and artists. Pretty cool. In other words, they were the popular smart kids in school. It was during his time in Winchester College, though, where George was introduced to mountaineering. As the name suggests, mountaineering is an activity where people ascend mountains for fun. Which, to some, probably is fun. But to a writer, Alex, it sounds incredibly anxiety-inducing. George would become enthralled with mountaineering once introduced to it. He would climb Mount Velan, Mount Blanc, and Mount Maudit. In 1924, George would join an expedition of the infamous Mount Everest. George, who was 37 at the time of the expedition, believed his age would make this his last opportunity to climb the mountain. And according to Wikipedia, when he was touring the U.S., he allegedly proclaimed that he and the expedition would successfully reach the summit. Tragically, during this expedition, George and his younger climbing partner, Andrew Sandy Irvine, reportedly disappeared on the northeast ridge of Everest. Whether the two reached the summit of Mount Everest is unknown. Searches of both Sandy and George carried on throughout the years. In the 1930s, Sandy's ice axe was reportedly found and then in 1975, a Chinese climber discovered a body that he described as being that of an Englishman. I wonder how he would know. That would be very difficult for me to know. Anyways, based on Britannica, an oxygen canister from the 1920s was found in 1991. With these clues, an expedition set out in 1999 to search for both men. George's body would be located on May 1st of 1999 at 26,760 feet, or 8,155 meters. It was eventually determined that George had died during his expedition after a bad fall. To this day, Andrew Sandy Irvine has not been found. Well, that is it for today's history segment, just a small sampling of George Mallory's life and his eventual discovery some 75 years after he went missing. Let us know your thoughts on today's episode over on our social media accounts or over on the Cultivate Discord. Also, thank you for tuning into today's This Day in History segment and learning more about today's feature with us. It wouldn't have been made possible without the following resources, Wikipedia, PBS, History Extra website, and Britannica. But most of all, it would not have been made possible without the amazing Underbaki. That's right. Alex Underbaki, host of Weird Distractions podcast and also the amazing writer of This Day in History. Thank you so much, Alex. Another banger for the books. But with that being said, and uh, with all that we've learned, I think it's about time we jump back in with the other guys. Later. And that was This Day in History from the amazing Underbaki. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Anything we got to do to clean this house up, boys? Yeah, I got, I got a couple. A few. Yeah, too. 
from like our our merch store. A uh, couple shout outs to give. So uh, Bryce. Uh, so if you buy our merch, you can write a little comment to us, and uh, I will read it on the show. So nice. Oh. Uh, Bryce looks like he bought a uh, or she bought a Kevin's sweater of some sort. That's cool. <laughs> a celeb. Uh, and a few other things, but they say, hello, thank you so much for inspiring me. Oh. Um, and then Kayla says, excited to receive my first row merch. When I heard Kevin was made into a logo, I had to get the shirt. Such a cutie. The Kevin ones have been popping up the shelf. Buying off the shelves. <laughs> Can we write them off in our taxes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Ashley says, keep up with the amazing content. Love listening to you guys. Uh, Renee says, got therapy. Now I'm here to spread the cause. And they got a therapy hat. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, go. Yeah. That's the sole reason I don't have a Get Therapy merch is that I feel like I should get therapy first before buying that. Uh, I mean, that's fair. You can also just promote therapy. Or you can just uh, promote therapy and let yeah. uh, destigmatize it. Exactly. Therapy's good, guys. It is. I agree. <laughs> Uh, Ashley says, Hey boys, thanks for keeping me company in grad school and giving me hope that there are more good dudes out there. Cheers. Cheers. We got one here from Savannah says, love you guys. Found y'all on TikTok and have been binging the podcast, listening to episode, uh, number 11 or one eleven while placing this order. Got to represent my faves. Thank you so much. And then Thank finally you. I got a shout out, uh, my mom, uh, my mom's boss and Sienna's hey, mom, who all bought merch <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> nice. Love to see it. Yeah. So uh, shout out to all of them. And uh, yeah, those those are the comments I wanted to get through. Awesome. I got a few. So my first shout out, um, I heard it on this uh, episode already, but shout out to uh, Disney Can't Stop Me. We got Stevie. And the Scottish version of you, Sean. We got a Scottish Sean. Much on our cooler Discord. Sean, I think. Yes. <laughs> and I think I also saw Bozenka there at some point, but they did use the Discord uh, voice chat um, function oh. today. I popped up in there for like a quick second and they, they said they've been talking for a solid two hours. So, holy, holy shit. Um, shit. That's awesome. That's yeah, fucking Wikimate. sick. It is. Wigamaniacs, uh, join our Discord channel. You know, you can make friends with some of the amazing people we got. We got international representation everywhere. So it's, yeah, uh, I it's think they were good mix. planning a game night too, or and that's, unless that's what they were playing. I think I think that's when I saw Bozenka. They were playing like a meme game or something like that. Okay. So that's I popped cool. in and I was just like, hi guys, I'm on, like, I have two minutes before a meeting. Just want to say hi. Thank you for using this. So I oh, uh, really just cool. want to give you guys a shout out. Um, also, uh, just want to, this specific shout out is, Adoration, and this mm. is for our amazing mod, the GOAT, mid-score. Oh. Wikimaniacs, if you've seen the newly revamped subreddit with all the new flares, all the organization, that is all mid-score. Uh, so thank you for keeping us on track, and then you're a huge reason why the community is growing so much. And it continues yeah. to be a safe space. You know, yes. they, they're, they're so good at making sure that no hateful comments are, are, are there, so... Show all the love to Midscore. And last thing, speaking of Midscore and the community, uh, I was heartbroken and touched at the same time when I heard this. But basically, there's a Wikimaniac user, Outrageous, Midscore knows 9675. They did post a story about them losing their dog. Um, oh. So just want to offer my condolences. I know how that feels like. Um, however, Midscore on our Discord channel rallied everybody. Right, rallied everyone on the Discord channel, and uh, everyone showed their love and affection to um, Outrageous Nose. So I uh, just want to say thank you to Wikimaniacs, I, I, and I hope you guys realize that there's a huge community behind you. If you're going through things, post in our subreddit, and you're gonna have amazing people that got your back. So I'm yeah. really proud of our community for that. Very cool. I love that, and yeah, uh, my condolences. Uh, that's that's a tough thing. I've I've yeah. lost animals before, and it's. Uh, Never easy. So it's always a very tough, right. tough thing to go through. Um, on top of the just uh, at talking of moderators, uh, shout out Saskia in our in our Discord yes. mod. Uh, she's uh, killing it there, upgrading the Discord mod all the time, and mm -hmm. uh, our Discord and adding like modifications and, and like new features and stuff all the time. So so shout out to to Saskia uh, for you know doing the Discord part of our moderation, yes. which which we enjoy. So. Yeah, very cool. All right. Well, that being said, thank you guys so much for listening. 
Thank you, Double J, for co-hosting with your boy. You got and, it. Uh, that's it for this week, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Friday. Yes. <laughs> unless, unless, you're, unless you're a rich rich. And then uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Thursday. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wednesday. Wednesday. Speaking of, Thir- I should probably edit that right after this. Ooh, I yeah, should yeah, record yeah. mine. Probably should. That's tomorrow. <laughs> huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for listening. We love you. See you later in the week. Bye. Bye. And of course, we can't end the episode without saying thank you to our awesome patrons. Y'all are amazing. So in my chaotic order, I will do this once again. So big shout out to Midscore, Midscore, Midscore. We got Sky Score now. Aaron, Aber, Addy, Agatha, Aisha, a.k.a. The Run, a.k.a. Suda Hatter, Alex, 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 Alexa, Alexis. Alexis Rose, Alicia, Al- Allison, Alyssa, Alexandra, Ali, Ali, Alyssa, Alyssa, Amanda, Amber, 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 Amy, Anna, Anastasia, Andrea, Andy, Annette, Anna, 94, Annie, 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 Anthony, Antoinette, Appeline, April, Artina, Ashley, 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 Ashley. Audrey, Ayana, Bailey, Bear, Bex, Be So Happy, Bertrand, Bex, Bata Panda, Blue, Blue Raina, Bree, 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 Brittany, Brittany, Caitlin, Caitlin, Caramel Dog Sand, Caribbean Princess, Carissa, Carol, Carolina, Caroline, Carter, Catherine, Cecily, Selena, Charlie, Chels, Chelsea, Chelsea, Sharice, Cheryl, Kristen, Christina, Christine, Kiara, Sierra, sorry, Sierra, K- Sierra, Classy MacGyver, Crystal, Color Rouge, hope I got that right, uh, Daisy, Dan, Dan, Danielle, Dawn, D, Destiny, Daya, Diana, Disney, Can't Stop Me, Dominique, Dr. Dunin, Drella, Duchess of Dinos, Edna, E. Katsarina, Eli, Eliana, Elizabeth, 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 Emily, 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 Emma, Christina is Spooky Tales. Ita. Etta? Etta. Etta. Evelyn. Feed Ducks 33. Finch Fry. Flare Prime. Flossie. Fox Died. RIP. Just kidding. Free Gnomes. Gabby. Gabby. Galaxy Stars. Gem Gray. Girls Cupcake. Graceful Duck 22. Haley. Hannah. Hannah. Heather. Heather. Holly. Hope. Hyphen. I cannot read that. This is completely in this. In this ah, I can't read that. Oh, that's funny. I cannot read that. This is completely indecipherable. Golly. Indira, Iona, It's a Thunder Poop, Isabel, Itzel, Yulia, J. Rich, Jackie, Jackie, Jacqueline, Jamie, Jasmine, Javier, Jen, 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 1980, Jenna, Jenny, Jesse, Jessica, Jessica, Jessiana, Jillian, Jojo, Jordan, Jordan, Jory, Juice Machine, Julia, Julie, Just Aaron, Kakernijni. You haven't corrected me on that, so p- sorry. Kaylee, Karen, Karadim, Casey, Kate, Caitlin, Catherine, Catherine, Katie, Katie, Kawina, Kay, Kayla, Kibra, Kellyanne, Kelsey, Kenzie, Carrie Berry, Kim and Kev, Kindle, Kite, Krissa, Chris and Chrissy, Christy, Karena, Kuorka, Lani, Lauren, Lauren, Lean, Leanne, Lena, Leslie, Letty, Lexi, Likachu, Lily, Lillian, Lily, Lily, Lindsay, Ling, Linnea, Lisa, Little Rosie, Little 5128, Lizzie, Lofty Andy, Lorani, Losalini, Luana, Luca, Lucy, Lunar, Lydia, Lindsay, M, Mackenzie, Maddie, Mamadeb, Maria, 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 Mary Elena, Marine, Marissa, Mary, Mary, Marianne, Meg Mystery, Melissa, 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 Marissa, Michael, Michael, Michelle, 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 Mickey, Min, Mina, Miriam, Mitzi, Mid Drake, Moody Tacos, Morgan, Miss Christine, too, Miss Doolittle, Nikita, Nathimi, Ni, Nelly, Naya, Nicola, Nicola, Nicole, Nick, Nina, Noah, Noah, Olena, Olga, Olivia, Pete, Killers, 007. Patty, Paula, Peyton, Phantom Fox, 98, Philip, Phoebe, Pikaya, Saigo! Purple DC Bones, Queenie's Den, Rachel, Rachel, 
Rhina, Risa, Renee, Rihanna, Rhonda, Rich, Ringo, Robert, Ruzorion, Roxy, Riker, Sabrina, Sabrina, Sam, Sam, Sammy, Sarah, 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 Sarah Zeko, Sarah Lynn, Sasha, Saskia, Savannah, Sen, Sheila, Shell, Shenanigans, Shirtless, Josh, Dane, Siddhartha, Sierra, Sierra, Silja, Sky, Sophia, Sophie, Stacy, Stanley. Shout out Stanley. Congratulations on your graduation, by the way. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stevie, Sunny. Sunny Licious Supreme. Susan, Sarai, Syria, Syria, Tabitha, Tammy, Tanisha, Tara, 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 Taru, Taylor, 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 Taylor. Tegan. Almost there. Turton, the Stevie, Tierra, Tiffany, Tiffany, Tonjay, Tonji, Tarek, Toxic, Cupcake, Tracy, the Tree, the Busy Bee, Tucker, Unicorn, Candy, Valentina, Vicky, Vina, Warren, Will, Woody Kitty, Woody Beta, Four, Jessica, Your Girl Diana, Zanthalo, Zoe, and last but not the least, Asgier Thor. Shout out to all you patrons, y'all been amazing. Peace. Do it. Just do it. Expert in fucking power. With great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs>